Big revelations straight from the genius Shitoshi Kusama. Don't forget that Shiba Inu aims to bring a whopping 1 billion people into its ecosystem. And now, things just got more serious. This video is loaded with mind-blowing updates that are about to shake things up. Trust me, this is not a video you can afford to miss. Make sure to watch it until the very end. Disclaimer. As you might already know, Shitoshi Kusama, the brains behind Shiba Inu, has a cool idea to change how we handle digital identities. It's called the Shiba Inu Name Token, and it's here to simplify crypto transactions for the average user. Kusama knows that dealing with those long, confusing wallet addresses can be a real pain. So, he's on a mission to make things easier. The Shiba Inu Name Token is like your personal username that replaces all those complicated wallet addresses. No more stress, just smooth transactions with .shiba. The goal is simple, making crypto transactions a breeze for everyone. Kusama's vision is to have one Shiba Inu name token for all your digital assets, bringing simplicity to the complex world of crypto. It's about making your Web3 journey way better and more user-friendly. Imagine having a single username that works seamlessly across different blockchain networks and platforms in the crypto space. That's exactly what the Shiba Inu name token is all about. As it was already mentioned, developed by Shiba Inu's lead developer, Shaitoshi Kusama, this innovative solution is a multi-chain cross-platform username designed to simplify your entire Web3 experience. Just today, Shiba Inu lead developer posted a very important tweet. In that tweet, Kusama underlined the frustration we all face with the long and confusing wallet addresses in the crypto world. He highlighted the need for a simpler alternative, emphasizing that these complex addresses make little sense for the average user. The tweet reflects Kusama's commitment to introducing a user-friendly solution, and that's where the Shiba Inu name token comes into play. If you remember, Shiba Inu has teamed up with D3 Global, a prominent domain name startup, to make the Shiba Inu name token a reality. This collaborative effort aims to address the complexities surrounding crypto transactions. The goal is to replace the multitude of wallet addresses with a single Shiba Inu name token, creating a more streamlined and user-friendly approach. Imagine a future where your Shiba Inu name token serves as your passport across various Web3 platforms. From decentralized applications and games to social media and decentralized finance services, Kusama envisions a world where you can unleash your creativity in choosing your Web3 identity, be it names, places, gamer tags, or digits. The Shiba Inu name token becomes your companion, simplifying your journey across the metaverse and beyond. It's not just about replacing wallet addresses. It's about transforming the way we navigate the vast landscape of Web3, making it more accessible and enjoyable for everyone. But the Shiba Inu dev team didn't stop there. And that's really what gets me super excited. Shiba Inu's ambition extends beyond just the Shiba Inu name token. They are on a quest to own a decentralized top-level domain, a move that could redefine the way crypto users establish their digital identities. Teaming up with D3 Global, a prominent domain company, Shiba Inu aims to become the pioneer Web3 protocol in applying for a top-level domain. This means they're striving to secure a unique and decentralized segment in the domain name system, marking a groundbreaking initiative in the crypto space. Top-level domains play a crucial role in the web ecosystem. They are the last segment of a domain name, such as .com, .net, or .org. So imagine you could have email addresses like your name at your name dot Shiba. But that's not the main goal and the vision of Shiba Inu dev team. Remember, they are trying to onboard a billion users to their Shiba Inu ecosystem. See, the current internet setup is pretty centralized, with a few big players holding most of the cards. Shiba Inu, however, is thinking bigger. By building its decentralized domain, Shiba Inu is essentially saying, let's rethink this whole internet thing. They're attempting to pave the way for a decentralized alternative shaking off the traditional internet structure where a few powerful entities control everything. Picture it as Shiba Inu, setting up its own little corner of the internet where users have more control and ownership. It's like breaking away from the centralization that dominates today's internet and saying, hey, let's try something different. Shiba Inu, as it claims, becomes the first ever project to take a swing at a decentralized alternative to the internet, creating a digital space that's more user-friendly, open, and inclusive. This isn't just about having a unique web address. It's about challenging the status quo, exploring a new way of doing things online. Shiba Inu's initiative is like a breath of fresh air, suggesting that there might be a different, 
more democratic future for the internet, one where users have more say and where things are done in a decentralized, community-driven way. It's an ambitious move, and if successful, it could be a game-changer for how we experience and navigate the digital world. But here, a quite logical question may arise. The crypto space and the entire decentralized narrative aren't new, so why haven't other blockchains, for example Ethereum, attempted this before? How could Shiba Inu be the first one? Well, let me explain. The answer to this question is pretty mind-blowing. So here's the deal. Ethereum, a big player in the crypto world, can't just create its own top-level domain like Shiba Inu is trying to do. The reason? Well, it's a bit complicated. You see, every web address, like .com or .org, has to follow certain rules set by an organization called the Internet Corporation for assigned names and numbers. Now, this organization doesn't allow two-letter domain names to be created because those are reserved for country codes. So, a lot of the crypto projects are out at this point. Now, even if Ethereum wanted to use their .eth, which is a three-letter short for Ethereum, there's another problem. This organization already reserved all existing three-letter codes, including .eth. So, getting a top-level domain for Ethereum is like trying to change the rules of a game that's already set. It's not impossible, but it's a tough journey. Shiba Inu, on the other hand, is taking advantage of this situation. Remember that Shiba is short for Shiba Inu, and it is four letters, not two or three. They have currently opened signups for early access, which indicates their confidence that their Shiba Inu domain will be approved. They're aiming to be the first in the Web3 world to apply for a top-level domain. It's like finding an opportunity in a puzzle where others haven't succeeded. Turning the entire internet into a decentralized version is like aiming for something grand and groundbreaking. If Shiba Inu succeeds in being a pioneer in this, it could bring some pretty cool benefits for the Shiba Inu community. A decentralized internet is like a fresh breeze compared to the current centralized one. Here's why. In the centralized internet, a few big companies control everything. They can decide what you see, how your data is used, and can even shut down services. It's like living in a city where only a handful of people make all the rules. Now, imagine a decentralized internet. It's like a city where everyone has a voice and can contribute. No central authority dictates the rules. Instead, decisions are made collectively, giving users more control over their online experience. Your data is not stored in one giant vault, making it less vulnerable to hacks or misuse. Take social media, for instance. In a centralized system, platforms like Facebook or Instagram can decide what content appears on your feed. In a decentralized world, you could follow content based on your interests, not just what an algorithm thinks you'd like. It's like having a more personalized and user-driven experience. And then there's the issue of privacy. In a decentralized internet, you're not constantly being tracked and monitored by a single entity. Your data is yours, not a commodity to be sold to the highest bidder. Now, if a truly good decentralized version of the internet is built, many people might start preferring it over the centralized one we have now. It's like moving to a city where everyone has a say, and your digital life is more secure and tailored to your liking. But here's the thing. Predicting how it will all play out is a bit like looking into a crystal ball. We can hope for a better, more user-friendly internet, but only time will tell if a decentralized version becomes the norm. Always remember to do your research. Videos on this YouTube channel are made for entertainment purposes only. But at this point, let's not forget Shitoshi Kusama, the mastermind behind Shiba Inu, who recently spilled the beans about his vision to attract a billion users to the Shiba Inu ecosystem. At first, it might have sounded like a far-fetched dream, but now we're starting to get a glimpse of how he plans to make it happen. If Shiba Inu can lead the charge in decentralizing the internet, it would be a massive win for the ecosystem. More users mean more activity, more engagement, and potentially more value for Shiba Inu as a whole. It's like creating a thriving digital community where everyone benefits. So, as Shiba Inu aims for this grand idea, it's not just about changing how we use the internet. It's about creating a space where Shiba Inu becomes a central hub for a billion users. It's ambitious, but if it works out, it could redefine how we experience the online world, and Shiba Inu could be at the forefront of this digital revolution. But what is your opinion on that? Comment down below. I'd be eager to read your opinion. If you are curious to find more, then click one of the videos you see on screen. And with that, we come to the end of this video. If you enjoyed the video, then please like this video and don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section. This really helps me with the YouTube algorithm. Also, please share this video to as many people as possible. Let's get this news out there.